go ahead and go. Okay, welcome to the lesson today. We're going to get started. Today's lesson will be a ladybug on a white daisy flower. So I hope that you enjoy this lesson today, okay? So we are going to get started now. Okay, so this is the lesson that you will be painting. All of you um, received the outline to transfer to your watercolor paper. And so you should have your watercolor paper ready. Today we will use this palette here, or you can use um, little paint tubes, you know, that you can purchase at the store and then put little dabs of paint on your palette and you can use that. But because mostly everyone has this, we are going to use this today. Um, I will go at a speed where I feel comfortable, uh, where everybody can kind of go at the same pace. But don't worry, if you have a hard time keeping up, you can always watch the video and, and um, do the steps that you might have missed. So I'm using a size number eight round brush. And then I have a little rigger brush. You don't have to have this one here. You can just use a, a, a size eight round brush. So let's begin. The, the first thing that you're going, we're going to do is we're gonna put water around the flower and around the ladybug. So do not put any water on the ladybug or the flower. You're just gonna put water around this half of the paper, just with water. So that's, that's gonna be step number one. Uh, step two is to have your water pellet ready. So what I want you to do right now is get your brush and wet the blue. Just wet some blues that you have like this, put water in there, and then grab some of the blue colors and put it on your little mixing palette area like I'm doing right here. See how much I'm getting? I'm getting a lot. I'm not getting just little bits of paint like this. You wanna have a lot of paint right there. And now I'm getting this light blue over here and I'm mixing it over here. So you have your paint ready to go when this is going to be wet here. See how this is, you have two different colors of blues here now. Okay, so now, I clean my brush and I just have water on it and this is what I'm going this is what you're going to do you're going to take your brush and you're going to just glide it around the petal like this just with water see how much water I'm putting and it's okay if your water has a little tint of blue already on there but look at how I'm just wiggling this water around this whole area like this just like this and remember paint around the ladybug. Look at how I'm using the point of my brush to go around that ladybug like this. You can move your paper around upside down like this and use the tip of the brush just to paint the water. Just put water like this, see, just like this. So now your paper has all this water around the ladybug and around this flower here, the first top half of the paper. Now I'm taking that extra water off my brush and watch how I load the brush with the paint. So look at how I'm just loading the brush. And now I'm taking this color and I'm just doing this swooping around the background and I'm taking this color now and I'm dropping it in and look at how beautiful it's like almost like clouds in there. Look at how I'm using the side of my brush. Just like that and let it go. Don't go in there and start scrubbing, just leave it alone. And you can move your paper around to make the, uh, the paint go different areas. And if you happen to get it on your ladybug, don't worry about it. You can just take a little piece of paper and you can just dab it off like this, just like that, okay? So that's the first part. Now, the second part, it's okay if, um, if you, if, if maybe, if I'm, I hope I'm not going too fast, but look at how beautiful the two colors, when they mix together, what happens. Just leave it alone, just don't overwork it. So now, the second part 
is going to be the bottom of the flower and around the stem right here, all this area. And again, you're gonna clean your brush. And this time what I want you to do is mix some purple in your mixing area here. Let's just mix some purple right in here, get it ready. Cause we're gonna drop in some beautiful purples now. And you don't have to use purple. You can use red. You can mix purple with some red to make it richer. You're the artist. You can decide however colors you would like to um, get creative with. So I'm just going to mix two purples over here. See how we're, I'm doing this? I'm just picking up color and I'm bringing that color right into the mixing area right here. And I'm taking more of this color. And you want to have a lot of dark pigment for the bottom half. So what that means is you want more paint and less water when you're mixing it here. Mixing two colors because I think it's going to be really beautiful. And I'm getting more purple. And remember, children, I'm having a lot of paint right here because this is a big area here. And so we don't want to run out of paint. So we're going to really just mix a lot of paint here and have it ready because you know, this is going to be wet. And when it's wet, you're going to drop in these beautiful colors. You're going to see what's going to happen. I think I have enough here now. I hope all of you are doing this and enjoying this process. This process is called wet into wet. So what that means is this is wet and then you're taking wet paint and you're dropping it in okay so now my paint is ready here to go i hope that i have enough paint maybe i better mix just a little bit more and this also gives you time to mix your paint and have it ready i usually don't paint with this little palette i usually paint with uh, tubes of paint but this was a challenge for me too and it's fun so now my brush i'm taking it and i'm using the point of my brush the point to just paint around those petals see how i'm just gliding my brush around the petals like this and i'm taking more water and i'm just gonna take that water and look at how I'm moving the brush across to drag that water down right here. Let's just do this section here and then we'll do this section here. So just do on this side of the stem because I think this would be a nice little demo and I'm using the point and it's okay if you go inside the pencil lines, it's not a problem. And just blend that color right up to the blue. And so now this little area here around the petals, because we're going to keep these white, is wet with water. Now I'm taking my brush and I'm dabbing the extra water off and I'm going to load my brush again with this beautiful purple. See how I'm doing this? And now I'm taking it and I'm using the point and I'm just going to drop it gently around the petals like this. See? And now you can take the other purple color and look at how beautiful the colors are just moving around and they're moving around because that water is there and you can go straight to your little palette and get more color with your brush now it's deeper and richer color on the brush and if you drop it right in there just along there you'll create a darker value around those petals just like that and you can take more on this side and just drop it in like this just like that let it run see and if you lift it up the color will run down to where the water um, the paint will flow into wherever the wherever there's water wherever it's wet so just like that so once you have this little area done you can go in there with some of that purple and you have some little triangle spots here in between the petals you can take the point of your brush and you can just paint those little 
triangle areas. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, just like this, just like that. Now I'm going to leave this side alone, let it do its thing. And if there's too much water, you can always just um, soak up some of that water with a little paper towel, just like that. But I'm going to leave that alone because I love what's happening there. And then as it dries a little bit more, you can take more paint, more pigment paint. And you can start to drop it right in there again. And you can see how much richer and darker you will end up getting a, um, a value there, just like that. See how I'm just using the brush, just the point, just like that. So now, so now you're going to move to this side over here and you're going to do the same thing. You're gonna have your paint ready over here like that mix it all up have fun you don't have to use purple you can use any colors you'd like you're your own artist so if you decide to do this over again you can choose your color combinations okay and now I'm taking the extra water off and I'm just going to use clean water and I'm using the point of my brush and I'm just going around those white petals and I'm going around the stem like this. Look at how I'm dragging that brush down and just moving that water down like this, just like that. And here we go again. We're gonna put some water on this side, just like this. This is fun and relaxing. And you know, it is just a nice relaxing hobby to do. Now I'm taking the extra water off my brush. I'm loading the brush again. And I'm using the point of the brush to go around those little petals there that we have, the white petals that we want to keep white. Because it's going to be a white daisy. But we're going to add color on the inside later, little uh, washes of color. Now I'm just taking deeper values and I'm dropping them in there on the edge there. Just like that, I'm letting the water just kind of move that pigment. And what is key is to make sure that you do put enough water in your area here, because if you don't, the paint is not going to move. It's gonna stay there kind of just, you know, just dry like that. You know, it's not gonna move around like that, but look at, what is happening here. And this is the magic of watercolors. This is what watercolors is supposed to do. It's just supposed to um, run and do its own thing. And of course, there's very many different styles of painting. And this is just one style. This is called wet into wet. And um, anyway, there it is. So now we're just going to leave that alone. And if when it dries, you can go back in there and you can take more water and put water in there and then put another layer of paint if you wanted to, to, to really make it richer. So that's what I had done on this one here. I had let it dry completely and then I added another layer of darker purple in there. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next step. The next step is working uh, around this area here. Since this is dry now, we're going to do the yellow of the flower so that it can dry and then we can do the legs uh, last. And after we do this here, we're going to do the ladybug and then we will start putting in color in the petals right here. And that way this, this is starting to dry. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna clean an area here on your palette and you can just do that with a little paper towel and some water because we're going to use uh, yellow and you don't want yellow to mix with the purple because it'll turn into like a muddy color. So I'm just cleaning this little area here and I'm going to start taking some yellow and the first step again is to have all your little colors mixed. So let's do yellow because this is so light and I'm going to add a little bit of orange in there, it's a very light yellow. So let's mix yellow and a little bit of orange in there. Just 
just like that. Have it over here. These colors are pretty light. Your palette might have darker colors. I don't know. Okay, so now what you're going to do, you have your colors there. We're going to take your brush again and it's clean just with water. What you're going to do is you're just going to paint this shape right in here. And if you can, you can try to paint around the little legs. But if you get water on the legs, it's okay. But watch how I'm using the point of my brush, almost like a pin, to just put water around the little legs and under the ladybug. Look at how I'm, I'm switching my brush like this to get this side over here with the point. And I'm just dragging that color, I mean that color, the water around. I'm using the point again to just go under the ladybug around its little antenna. And I'm just moving that water around. So now the flower bud is just with water and it's just wet. Now I'm taking the extra water off on a paper towel and I'm going to load my brush with the yellow orange mixture that I mixed there and I'm using the point and I'm just dropping in that color just like that just you can just tap it here's the orange at the bottom let's get a little bit more pigment there this this is a very light yellow so I'm going to just pick up extra color with the brush and I'm just going to dab it I'm just going to dab it like this and I'm going to take some orange and I'm going to dab it over here at the bottom, the base of the bud, just to give it um, some variety of um, color. Right here at the bottom. Makes it more interesting than one flat color. Um, if you would have just had this all yellow, that would have been okay because then when it dries, you can add a little bit of a darker value in there to make it look different. But see how more interesting this is looking when you add two colors in there? Just makes it more interesting. So that's all. That's all you're going to do with that. So now we're going to move on to the ladybug. And for the ladybug, since this is such a small area, I think that what we're going to do is just going to paint uh, wet into dry. So that means wet paint into onto dry paper. There's not going to be any water here. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose a red or an orange. You know, their ladybugs come in different colors. There's orange ones, there's yellow ones. There's dark red ones, there's light red ones. I've seen just so many different varieties of ladybugs. This part of the ladybug will be black and you'll, you can leave a little bit of the white for the eye. These spots will be black or you can have them white. And this little area here will ha have little white spot here and a white spot there. So we're gonna paint around those areas. So now with your brush, it's wet. What you're going to do is you're going to take some red, just mix it around in your little um, palette here of paint. See how I'm just scrubbing and getting color on that brush, just like that. And again, you're going to use your brush like if it was a pen. And you can turn your paper around like this to make it easier for you to paint this way. And what you're going to do is you're going to just take that paint and you're gonna paint your ladybug. There's no water on here. This is called wet into onto dry. And look at how I'm using the point now of the brush, almost like if it was a pen. I'm just painting around the ladybug, and just like that around the spots. And you can change the color. Maybe you wanna add a different red in there, a, a more darker red. You're the artist, you can change your colors. And look, I'm just using the tip, just the tip of the brush to move that paint around. Just the tip. And I'm coming around, I'm coming around these shapes. Just like that. 
So that's the first half. And now I'm going to add a little bit of this darker red here at the bottom because I want it to look interesting, make it more interesting. See how when you add a different value and you have a light value, it makes it more interesting, just like that. Okay, so this is the first part of the ladybug. Now I'm coming around the other side of, of him. And again, very carefully, I'm just using the point of the brush, like if it was a pen. And I'm just coming around that little shape there. And just, just leaving it just like that because you don't want to overwork it. Just like that. See there? Okay, now you're going to take your brush and you're going to clean it and you're going to take a dark value that you have here. You can use black or you can use brown for the head and the little legs and antenna. And we'll, we'll, we will paint the head first and the antennas because I think that this is still wet with the yellow. So we don't want the colors to bleed. So we will try. Now, I'm going to mix a dark color here. I think that's brown. I'm just going to mix brown and a little bit of that black together. Hilda, can you tilt your pad just a little bit yet yeah, or a little bit more towards you so it's like at an angle up a little bit? Like this? Yeah, that way it was glaring with the white. It's okay. just glaring a little bit. That way the kids can see it a little bit better. Perfect. So now I'm using a, the dark value and I'm going to turn it around again to make it easier to paint this side. And we're just using the tip of the brush and you're just going around that little shape like this. Just, just like. So let's just do that part first. And you can paint this little area here. Just like that, leave the little eye white. Here's the antenna. And I'm just using, again, the tip of the brush, gently, carefully. Now I'll, I'll, we'll demo the legs right here. So this way, just a little shape like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is an art lesson. And the key is to just enjoy and to learn um, a new art technique and to get you excited to want to paint more. Uh, you can put on music and listen to something that you enjoy listening to and paint, but it's relaxing and it makes the time go by fast and you'd be surprised what you can do in a, just a short little time of, um... okay. Now we're going to do the spots. So I'm gonna turn it around again, and I'm gonna use the same colors. And I'm painting the spots just with the tip of the brush. And if it gets too dry, just add a little bit of water. Like that, just the tip of the brush. I'm just using the tip. And I'm going to do this little shape here. It almost looks like a little heart on his back, which I think is really cool. And there's like these little white spots there. And as these dry, these little spots here, you can keep adding more paint to make them look darker. Just like that. Okay. And I know that maybe some of you don't have this little um, thin brush. It's called a rigger or a liner. And this is size number one. I got it at my favorite local store, Allard's in Fresno. And what we're going to do is you're just going to take and pretend like it's a pin and you're just going to make that little line on the back, on his back. And you have to have a real steady hand. So this is how you would do it. Just 
take it and steady. It's kind of hard to do it as I'm holding this paper up, but I want to just show you just like that. And you could take this liner also and add little details to the feet if you have one, but you don't have to have one. You know, here's the little eyeball like that. So there's one ladybug. Okay, now we're moving on to the base of this flower. Well, you know, let's do this last because the legs are wet and I don't want the colors to run into there. But as this starts to dry, you can add another layer of red right here to give it more dimension. And I will demo that in a little bit. So now this is the fun part. You get to decide what colors you want to drop in on some of these white petals. Each one is petal. And the thing is that you don't want to cover the white because this isn't painted with white paint. It's just the paper coming through. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix colors on our palette right here. You can choose different colors that you like. It doesn't have to be these colors here. You're, remember, you're the artist and you want to choose the colors that you enjoy and that you like. And what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of water here on this one, maybe here, here, just a little bit of water. Maybe do two or three at a time and then move on to the others, okay? And I will demo that. So here's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna take some color and you wanna clean your area again of maybe the yellow or the darker colors that you were using. Have this clean again. And so that way you can have your little area ready to go with mixed colors here. And I'm gonna take a little bit of water. And I think I'll use, I think I'm gonna use like uh, these beautiful orange, red, yellow, warm colors because I think that it will um, pick up with ladybug. You know, they'll all kind of complement each other. So that's what I'm gonna aim for. I'm gonna use these beautiful warm red and orange yellowy colors to put in here. So let's start mixing some of our colors. Let's just take some of this color here and have it ready. Remember, this is your little mixing area here. More color. Take this color over here. Some yellow. Or you can just have your um, color mixed right in the well, just like this. You don't have to mix it over here. And you can just put a little bit of water in each one to have it ready. Just like this, see? Yeah, let's mix a little bit of water in here and have it all kind of ready to go. So I think that I have enough color and it's all wet in there in the paint so it's activated the paint. So now I'm going to take my brush and I'm taking off that extra water, the extra paint off the brush and I'm just using water again and it's okay if your water has a little bit of a tint to it. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to take the water and just paint little streaks on the petal just like this. Up to the base. So here, here are two that have a little bit of water. Now I'm taking the brush and I'm just going to take some paint and I'm just going to drop in some paint. Just let it go. Don't, don't mix it all, you know, where the white is, but just let it kind of just drop into the flower. And again, if you have this little brush here, you could take this little brush and you can make little squiggly lines coming down like this. Look how cool that is. See that? You can just do that with this little brush. So now you can move on to these petals over here and put water. Remember, don't cover the whole petal. Just add a little bit of water. Just like this. I'm taking more water, taking the extra water off my brush and just taking color and I'm just going to drop in these colors like that. Take some yellow. 
see how cool that is. This is so much fun. And let it just drip. You know, you can let it drip and then if there's too much water at the bottom, you can just take this little paper towel and just soak it up right there like that. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to this side now. Let me turn it so you can see. I'm just taking water and I'm adding a little bit of water to each petal. Just like this, look at how I'm bringing the brush down with the water, just with the water, like that. Now, I'm taking the color on the brush and I'm just dropping it, just like this. I'm bringing it down on the water. I'm taking yellow and I'm adding a little bit of yellow. I'm taking this pink over here and I'm gonna add it to this right here, this side. Just like that, let it drop. Let it just kind of flow where the water is. Just like that. And again, there's too much um, water here, so I'm just gonna dab it and just, just leave it just like that. So you're just gonna leave that. And what we will do is we will paint this stem now green and then we will do this in here a little bit darker because then that way these little petals will start to dry. But this cool little brush right here, you can take paint and you can squiggle in little lines like this to give it detail, you know, just to give it variety. So I'm just demoing this so that you can see this and maybe you can um, purchase a brush or if you do another, Art project, you can do this technique, you know, and this is what's so nice that you signed up to do this because you can take these techniques and you can apply them to some of your own paintings. So I'm taking a little bit of purple to cover this little area here to, okay. Now we're going to do the stem and what you're gonna do with the stem is you're just gonna mix, um, I'm gonna make it real easy. You're going to just take some greens and just mix them here on your little palette of paint that you have, just like that. And so there's green on the brush and you're just gonna take that brush and you're gonna use the point of the brush to go under the petal and just paint it down, going down, just like that in one stroke. And it's okay if you can't do it in one stroke, you can just paint it, you know, however. And maybe you wanna add a little bit more color to one side to give it variety. And you can add a little bit more darker green to one side. Just like that. So now we're going to add a little bit of a darker um, color in here under the butt. And because there's already a layer of color in here, if you add another layer of color there, it's going to look darker. So what the effect is, is to get this to look a little bit darker. See how this is lighter here and it's darker here? You wanna have that dimension there. So that's what we're aiming for. We're going to take a little bit of a, yellow color here and I'm going to mix it with some orange and now I'm not going to add water in there we're going to take wet in onto dry and I'm going to turn my painting around again and all you're going to do is you're going to use the point of your brush and you're just going to take some of that paint and just go along the edge there and see how much interesting this is already looking. It's looking like it has a little bit of dimension because you're adding another value there of color over on top of what was already there. Just like that. See? And if you wanted to, you can take the same brush and add a little bit of a shadow underneath that ladybug like this and the legs maybe, add some little 
shadows there, just like that. And this stem has dried a little bit, so I'm going to add just another little touch of green to make it look darker on one side. So I'm mixing my paint, and I have the paint on the brush, and I'm just taking that color because this is already dry, and we're just adding another layer of color there, of value, and see how that just makes it pop more it just makes it more interesting. And I really like this effect here, and so I don't wanna to do too much to this effect here. And I like this blue, what happened here, but what I do wanna change here on the painting is make this ladybug stand out a little bit more. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of more red in here, just a richer red. So I'm cleaning my brush, and I'm just gonna take a deeper red, I'm mixing it here. Let's mix it with a little bit of this pink too. You know, I think that this is a darker red here. Let's use this one here. Remember, your color palette is going to be different than mine, and so just choose a dark red that you have and mix them together. I'm turning it around. And because this is dry now, again, we're adding another layer of color to make this look richer. So I'm just using the tip of my brush and I'm just painting wet onto dry paper, the, the area where it's already dry. And notice how I'm just going around like this. Just like this, just use that little tip of the brush. And I'm going to clean my brush. And now just with the tip of my brush, it's, it's, um, I cleaned it. I'm taking the tip and I'm softening that edge out like this. See how I'm just softening that edge out? And now look at the ladybug. It has dimension. It has two colors. It has a darker value in here and a lighter value up here which I think is, is more, it's starting to look like it's popping a little bit more. And at this point also, you can use your darker colors and make its little head maybe a little bit darker by adding another little layer of color, just like that. And you have to be very careful when you do this. If you touch the where it's wet, it might bleed into the other color. So I'm being very careful just with the tip. And I won't paint these spots yet because this is wet and then the colors will just bleed out. But what you can do is you can go back into some of these petals now and add more color to keep building them up. And I'll show you, I'll just do a little quick demo of that. I'll just take a little bit of paint here on this here palette. And I think I'm going to use, I think I'll use this pink here. I like this better. Okay, so just taking the paint. And this is dry now. So again, you can paint either wet onto dry, or you can add a little bit of water and then add your paint. So I will demo both so you can see the difference. So this is wet onto dry, just like this. See, you can just do this. Just kind of bring it down like that. So that's, that's one way of doing it. Here's the other way of doing it. You can take your water and just put a little bit of water here because this is, this is dry, so you can add water. And then you can take your brush and pick a paint and then you can just drop it in there where it's wet, where the water is. So see how these are more interesting because they're being built up rather than this side over here? It's becoming richer and just more livelier. I'm gonna add a little bit of color here to the side, a bit more here. Like that. If there's extra water, just, you know, you can pick it up with your brush. 
And don't worry about these pencil lines, you know, from your tracing. You can always erase those later when it's completely dry. And I'm going to add just another little layer of color right in here just to build up that little bud. And then turn it around. And I'm just going to dab in a little bit of color right in here. So I hope that you guys are all doing okay. And if I went too fast, you can always go back and look at this video again and, and uh, catch up on a step that you may have had trouble with. But see how I use just the tip of the brush? Just like that. And again, when this is dry, you can also add more paint in here to build it up. And I will demo this step here, and then I'm gonna show you how to sign it, okay? But I think it's turning out to be really cool. Okay, so here's how you're gonna add more paint in here to build it up even richer because light against dark is contrast and that's where your eye will kind of go to. All right, so here we go. We're gonna mix the paint. I'm just gonna mix it here on the little wells of paint. And I'm using just water now on the brush and I'm adding a little bit of water again, just on the outside of the petal, just like this, just water. And I think I'm just gonna do it in this area here. I don't wanna do it there, just in certain areas. And remember where the water goes, the paint will follow it. So now you're gonna take your paint and it's wet there and you're just using the tip with the paint and you're gonna drop it in there. So just the paint, just, and you can tilt your paper up to make it move. See, it's happening. You can dab it with paper towel. But look at the difference on this side versus this side here. Do you see how if you build up layers, your painting becomes more interesting, more rich? So now let's just tilt it a little bit this way and do this side right in here. So I'm going to just use water again. Just water. With the tip of the brush and I'm picking up a darker value with pigment paint here and I'm just using the tip of the brush and I'm letting it flow where the water is and remember key is to have enough water for it to flow just like that and I like that just like that and if you really want to have fun you can just take a little bit of paint on your brush really wet see how how much water there is here and you can just put your paper down and you can just use your hand like this and i'm just going to hit it a little bit like this with the brush just for a splatter just like that not a lot just a little bit but see what you can do you can create these little cool effects and um anyway i just like this and I, you know, I don't think I want to do anything up here because once you put a mat around it, it looks really beautiful. Uh, what you can do is take a color that you like here and you can use a little thin brush or a pencil. You don't have to use a brush, but you can use a pencil and you can sign your name. And you don't want to sign your name too close to the bottom or to the edge. You want to kind of sign it, you know, where people can see your name. And I think that I will just sign it right here. I'll just sign my name and I'll just pretend like this is a pencil or a pen. And again, I'm using this brush as a little instrument, like a little writing instrument, and I would just sign my name. Just like that. And then what you could do when you're done with your painting is you can get a mat. And just, as, just for visual, it's still a little wet, but you can see what your painting would look like with the mat. 
And you can take your painting and display it on an easel stand, you know, or have it framed. But um, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and um, tell me what you think. And I hope that you continue to paint. I hope that you uh, understood some of these techniques and that you will try painting again. You can take this outline and make more paintings from this. You know, you can maybe add another ladybug. You know, you can take this ladybug and you can put one here on this side and make a different composition. There's so many things you can do. But this was just a fun lesson and I just wanted um, to um, demo this and I hope that you enjoyed it. Well, Hildo, that, that was wonderful. Thank you for so much for sharing that with us. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording right now. Hang on one second.